Hi, Art Seekers. We are here with Ricky the Sheep. Super, super excited. Hi, guys. Yeah. And I have been wanting to know more about your project for a long time. Awesome. What was the genesis of the Sheep in the first place? Um, it was just reading. I had been reading um, biographies, like um, from the first one that started off with Patty S Smith or Smythe. Smith. Uh, just kids, right? Yeah. And that led to Maplethorpe, it led to Keith Haring, to Divine, to everybody, and eventually led to Alexander McQueen. And in the introduction of the book, he says, um, I'm not a, I don't even know if he said I'm not a black sheep, but he said I'm a pink sheep. And when I read the sentence, it was just, that, that, that was it. I knew when I read it, I even called my brother and I told him, I got something really special. And I didn't even know what it was, it was just this huge sensation. That so what does that mean to you, the pink w sheep? Well, I knew, when, I knew when he referred to it, I always thought of myself as a black sheep because you always heard of the black sheep. And I knew that he was saying it in reference to, to it, him, him being gay. But um, I knew that in that, to me, now that I see it, I knew that that was about being different. That goes different than different. So you're not just the black sheep, now you're different from that. Mm. And I think that's something we all relate to. I think we, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, lately as a series has evolved that it's no longer gay sheep, it's about being different. And that I think if you ask any of us that question, everyone has always felt different, all of us. But you're taking away the stigma of what that difference means because when we think of black sheep, that's not a celebratory concept, yeah, but yeah. a pink sheep. Yeah. Who doesn't want to be a pink sheep? Yeah. We all are that Yeah, all inside. of us, all of us, and every single one of us. And the funny thing is that I could actually play with a word, and I could with the word sheep because it's a funny word to me and then you can play with the concept of the follower and the not the follower too mm -hmm. so you can you can mix it up so people see it and they, they can think in different directions of, aside from it just being different because they could also be like little protest sheep you know like who stand up for something or follower sheep who follow just aren't ready to claim yeah. their identity and come into their yeah. own focus. Which is okay too, until, is. until you're ready, you're ready, you know? Yeah, it's about the journey. Yeah. And something, awesome. I love the way you talk about this project. It feels like there's a spirituality to it. And I've noticed that in a lot of the texts that you write, you incorporate God. Yeah. And I'm wondering where that comes from. Um, well, there's two things. Uh, when I first started painting like 20 years ago, people always said, do um, use your words because you're a writer. And I'm like, they don't go together. Like, I don't write when I'm, I'm, I usually paint when I'm happy and I write when I'm sad. I'm like, so I never saw them going together, but then I realized that when I, with this, with the series, I get to use words. Every sheep has a little ism. You know, it's a sheepism, I call them. <laughs> and they all have something funny or silly or thoughtful to say about something. Um, and then God is, is almost, they're almost like poems. The God series, which I started like two years ago, that's a whole other thing in itself, but it's still part of sheep just because it's part of anything I create I see is, is part of sheep because it's me. There is no style, it's a concept. And mm -hmm. with that concept, I could go in any direction. So I've seen you do tons of different sheeps. We have celebrity sheep and musician sheeps. Which one do you think is the most personally significant to you? Most special of all of them really is my Keith Haring sheep. I mean, because he's in... He's in every little thing that I do. I mean, his, I feel like I'm channeling his spirit. I've always felt that, even before I started Sheep. I always felt that it, he was in me, like in some beautiful way. And my ex-boyfriend had driven him a few times before he passed away. And I was like, I was this close. <laughs> <laughs> Two degrees away from Keith Yeah, Haring. yeah. But yeah, he's in everything I do. Everything I do, I always hashtag him, always. Him and Alexander McQueen. I mean, it just, they go together in some odd way. Well, you are collapsing a bunch of different practices. We have art, we have performance, we have street practice, and the scrawling nature of Herring's chalkboard designs yes. that he put up in the Metro. And all of that is existing in you, and it's almost like you are representing and celebrating men who have passed away through sheep. Yeah, uh, see, I, you, even, you said it better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been magical, man. Is there an overall takeaway message you hope people will have when they encounter the work on the street? I think um, 
I hope it just makes him smile. If you actually stop to read it, sometimes as I'm walking by, I see people walking by the work and um, when I put something up, it's there, it's gone, it's no longer mine. I don't stop to look at it. People take it, they take it, but um, just that it makes him smile. I mean, the, how could, I always think like, how could you not smile with a, a sheep saying something silly, you know, like, it's just funny. You know, and that's what I hear the most when people see my work and they tell me, they, they go, it just makes me happy. And that's, that's, the, that's the spirit of the sheep, is, is happiness.